I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence. For a meditation today, let's turn to Isaiah chapter 50, verse 5 and 6. The Lord God hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Today we'll be meditating upon the ears that is deaf against all mockings and allegations. We know that our Lord Jesus came into this world to save the lost sinners. We did not plead God to come and to save us. But His grace and love came in search of us sinners. The words of God which we read was fulfilled in Christ when He was upon this earth in human form. He came to His own and they rejected Him. They mocked Him and treated Him in a shameful manner. The whole mankind, including us, is responsible for this heinous act against the light that came to lead us to the truth. We hated Him because we loved darkness more than light, who came to save us. We love the pleasures of sin more than the eternal truth. And Lord Jesus told His disciples that if the world has done this to me, it will do the same with you. Now as a child of God, we should never expect recognition or praises from the world for the works of light that is revealed from our life. The more we love the truth and walk in it, the world will always hate and will speak against us. A Lord did good for all who came to Him, but still, People were after him to anyhow find one mistake in him. They used to talk all evil against him. And we know that how the spiritual leaders who were supposed to guide the people to all truth themselves made false allegations against the Lord. Then can we expect anything more that is better from the world? But look at the reaction of our Lord. He never responded to their allegations. He just ignored them as if he does not know what is going on behind his back. Our Lord knew about the plans of Judah and the team of priests in the temple. He could hear the talks going on. But look at the reaction of our Lord. He was submissive to the will of the Father. He knew that nothing would happen without the permission of the Father. He was not rebellious, nor did he turn back from the mission for which he had left his glory. He did not resist the scornful actions of his enemies. He was like a deaf person to them. And so even the enemies could not recognize him. Jesus could have shown his divine power to them in between and shut the mouth of his enemies, but he did not. He suffered it all for you and for me. Then as a child of God, Am I ready to suffer for the Lord when people make fun of me or accuse me with false allegations? Will I suffer it gladly for the Lord? Remember, we are the children of light and the world which enjoys darkness will never love you. It will always hate you as it did to our Master. But if we love our Lord more than anything, then let us pray to the Lord to give us the strength to be silent, ignoring the sound of the waves around us and shine as lights till the end of our journey. Let us be faithful till we hear the final sound, my faithful servant. May the Lord help us for that. Let's pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity you have given us to come in your blessed presence. How blessed we are, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word. You set an example before us. And we are just supposed to look at you and no one else. Lord, 
help us to follow in your footsteps if the world hated you we can never expect anything else from the world lord help us to love you all that we want is your love and nothing else we have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back help us to grow more closer to you strengthen us lord in jesus most holy name we pray amen can we sing this song i have decided to follow jesus though the world hate me still i will follow may our ears be deaf to the world but open to the voice of our master may his name be glorified may god bless you our lord is coming very soon maranatha